Are things really finally coming to an end for the Snyder regime in Washington? That's what a lot of us Washington Commanders fans really hope. We've been suffering for way too long now. And it's just, it's unfair. We deserve better than that. Uh, the, the residents in D.C. deserve better than that. I am not a D.C. native. I am from Virginia, but from the southern side of Virginia. I grew up a Washington fan ever since, I think, 1981. Six years old. At six years old, I knew I loved football. I loved it. And I loved watching those Redskins play. What attracted me to that team, I loved the, that Chief logo on the helmet. I just, I loved the colors, but I loved the players we had. I loved John Riggins. How could you not love John Riggins? The Diesel, downtown Charlie Brown, the flashy Joe Theismann, you know, the Hogs. Joe Gibbs, though, I've never even met the man. And he was like a father figure, you know. And I loved my dad, God rest his soul. But he was like a father figure that I've never even met. You know, Joe just had this way. He knew how to treat his players. He knew how to bring out the best in his players. And he didn't have to threaten them. Joe Gibbs worked himself to death almost. I mean, he slept on the cot at Redskins Park. That showed you how willing he was to put... 110% effort into making his team successful. And he did. Sitting back and watching a Washington game, they're gonna win this game. I had that feeling more than I didn't. Nowadays, I can't say that as much. Since Dan Snyder's taken over, things have not been successful for this team. But you look at Dan Snyder now, why is he being ousted? Well, it's because of sexual allegations, misappropriation with money, all of this being alleged, he can't secure a stadium deal. If you cannot secure a stadium deal, and you have been on this for as long as Dan Snyder has, Virginia will not touch him, Maryland will not touch him, and the District of Columbia, we know, will not touch him. And if Dan Snyder can't build a new stadium for the Washington Commanders, Dan Snyder would not remain owner of the Washington Commanders. The other owners don't like him, and there's already been an owner to come out and publicly state that he feels there's merit to remove Dan Snyder. There are at least 23 other owners, so we already know how Jim Irsay is going to cast his vote. There was something released where Snyder has allegedly investigated all of the other owners, claimed to have dirt on the other NFL owners, have dirt on the league that had he has dirt on Roger Goodell, and he's not afraid to throw that dirt grenade. If he's going down, there's gonna be casualties with him. Now, is this all wishful thinking on my part? Of course it is. Who would not want to wish for this unless you're a Dallas Cowboys fan or, you know, Philadelphia Eagles fan or Giants fan because you want this franchise to be buried so that you can continue to pick up easy wins. But I'm telling you, it's not good for the league to keep Dan Snyder's owner. The NFL has been under fire for several years now. The last thing they need is a toxic owner. The investigation has to conclude. We are going to see the results of this investigation. Once that's concluded, the owners can be free to vote. I would be very surprised if Dan Snyder survives after next March. I really do. He's acting like a wounded animal being backed into a corner and he's coming out and his representatives are saying, all the stuff said about him is not true. This is not gonna be one of those things that I honestly believe that's gonna drag out for years. I just don't know how he gets a, a stadium deal. I think he would have to pretty much fund the entire stadium completely himself. That would be about the only way that I feel like that the commanders would be able to have their new stadium. I really think you're seeing the end. You are. You're seeing the, the beginning of the end for Dan Snyder. So who's gonna be the new owner? I want an owner who loves sports, but who cares about making a sports franchise successful. But you want someone who's gonna take pride in this franchise. They're not buying this as just a money-making you know, venture. Dan Snyder is gonna be ousted. 
is gonna be ousted probably sooner than later. It's gonna take quite a while to bring in a new owner, but we gotta make sure that the next owner is going to be someone who's gonna take pride, who's going to bring healing back to this franchise. You let me know in the comments section below, um, who would you like to see as the next owner of the Washington Commanders? Like this video, share this video. Take care folks, I will see you in the next one. Let's go maniacs. Held to the Washington Commanders, please. Let's get Dan Snyder out of there.